first things first, playoff position secured. How yeah, do you feel? great. So we can now um, not relax, but we can plan. We know that we're going to be playing a little bit longer, and we can um, plan our schedules now for for the week after the season finishes. You know, either Thursday or Friday, and then Saturday or Sunday. Um, yeah, so we'll take that into next Saturday and, and see where we go from there. Today's result then, two-one victory. Talk me through it. How was it from the sidelines? Yeah, it's really nervy, and I think you see from the other results, it's nervy, and it's if you're not right, you can you can slip up. And I thought we were professional today. We we never really looked in too much danger, in my opinion. That they scored a goal that we shouldn't really be conceding in the near post from 40 yards. Um, we should have defended that better. Um, but we, we played some good stuff in patches and controlled the game and once they put the two subs on they caused us a bit of a problem But we we managed to come back and, and score a winner. They started well didn't they, but it didn't take long for us to get our rhythm and, and get that goal that was needed. Yeah, it's our usual slow start where we're a bit sloppy and uh, takes us a little bit of time to get going But when you when you try and play with the ball it, it can be difficult it takes a lot of courage from the players and um, I thought they were really good today you think Grubby giving us a, a two-goal lead going into the break? Yeah, he did. But, um, listen, Grubby did really well today. He uh, it was a watershed moment from last week uh, at Tranmere. He, he wasn't happy about being in the team and, or in the squad. And, uh, and I, I gave him the reasons why. And uh, he's reacted brilliantly to that and found himself in the team. When they scored, what were you thinking? What was going through your head at that point? OK, we got to go and get a winner. It's football. You have to, you have to try and um, find a way. You have to find a way to uh, to get that winner. We knew what was at stake. We knew at uh, points what the results were, and we had to win. And it was all out to try and get that win. And we managed to score from two corners today, which is incredible. It was a scrappy one too when it got in with the header back. Junior almost, but Deutsch was there to, to put it over the line. Sometimes that's all it needs, isn't it? That scrappy goal. That's it. And we uh, we had some brilliant bits of play. We had one move in the first half where if, if Millsy had scored, it would have been it would have been the proverbial goal of the season, I think. And um, but now look it, at the stage of the season, it is you've got to do what you've got to do, and you've just got to find a way to win. It's getting tight right at the top there. How, how are you approaching the last two games? Just win. Just try and win at Crew. We've got a really tough game at Crew because they uh, they do really well there. The manager plays similar to us in terms of they've got a lot of young players, they play a certain way, use their academy players. They've got a brilliant academy and um, it'll be a tough game. There's a really good reaction from the crowd as well right at the final whistle. Is there that belief growing maybe that this side can do something special? They, certainly, the they certainly should be. They certainly should be behind the players and trust the players. At times the players are going to let, let them down, they're going to let themselves down but that's life, it's football, you can't win every week but on, on the whole this season Players have been magnificent. And just finally, how's George Williams? George is okay. He's sore. He's got his his black his, his black and blue. His ankle. Um, you know, he's going to be at least a couple of weeks. So um, he'd probably be fit for the playoff second leg.